Well, after a fairly mild work week, we're heading into the weekend with even milder weather around the corner. So we take a look at our current conditions. Quiet right now. Clear skies, 39 degrees in Fargo, and the wind only 8 miles per hour still out of that more northerly direction from the north-northwest, 39 as well. For Moorhead, Jamestown, 40 degrees, and it's one degree better than that in Devil's Lake. Out to the east, a lot of 40s out there, but we've had some prolonged high clouds kind of blanketing in some of that warmth. 43 in Wapiton, Breckenridge, 39 in Fergus Falls. Here is a look across the region, and besides a little unsettled weather around the Great Lakes, most of the Rocky Mountain north, the northern plains and central plains, very quiet weather. So nothing really upwind from us to be too concerned about in our forecast. So as we head to bed tonight, the 30s that we see off to the east will be spilling their way back into the valley. Winds light and variable. And as we start the day, will be mostly clear. And it does look like a chilly start. So watch out for some patchy frost first thing in the morning. Now, as we go through the morning half of the day, it's going to be delightful sunshine for all locations and it looks like our wind will be a southerly one that'll help us warm up just a pinch and, but it won't be too strong so very pleasant early day conditions in the early afternoon we'll start notice noticing in our western counties the wind speeds picking up a bit 10 to 15 miles per hour maybe a few gusts upwards of 20 in the late afternoon and we'll have a shot at 60 to 65 degree readings in a few locations from the red river and points to the west now off to the east mid 50s and less wind to be concerned about. And again, everyone enjoying a full day of sunshine to begin the weekend. And that's where the warming trend begins tomorrow night, though. A little bit of change we'll talk about in a second. 33 to start your morning off winds from the south at 10 to 15 miles per hour for the majority of the day. Temperatures for Fargo peaking at 65 degrees by the evening hours. Temperatures only slipping back into the 50s under clear skies. We stay milder because the wind stays stronger tomorrow night and it looks like a windy Sunday as well. 59 in Oaks tomorrow afternoon, a 58 degree reading in the Devil's Lake Basin. Jamestown, low 60s for you. Low to mid 60s up and down the Red River Valley and a lot of mid 50s for your Saturday afternoon in Lakes Country. A lot of building and construction going on and the birds are getting in on the action there as well. Building some nests. Donna, thanks so much for taking the time to upload your photo. It looks like a very gusty day on Sunday, but the winds from the south will warm temperatures into those mid 70s out there. It looks mostly sunny. Maybe late today we'll see an increase in clouds from the west. The warm weather stays as we begin the work week and we'll have a shot in a few locations at seeing temperatures kiss that 80 degree mark. So 75 to 80 across eastern North Dakota. And it does look like by late the day a chance for some thunderstorms this system will work its way through. Our best chance of rain here in the valley and thunder will come on Tuesday when the cooler air settles in through midweek. It does look like we'll warm up again as we close out the work week on Friday. All in all, not a bad work week out there, and the weekend ahead looks very nice. Don't forget about that gusty wind on Sunday. We won't. Thanks, Hatch. You bet.